But today we're going to be talking about who is the best quarterback to use for your team to start Madden 24. Got five names in particular that we're going to be looking at. Not this guy on screen. They did my boy Jalen Hurts dirty. So my use him to start the year. From playing the beta, I have to say a lot of releases this year, like everybody's releases are slowed down. Passing just seems a little more slower. And for any of you guys that are big Slinger 1 fans, Aaron Rodgers, I'm going to tell you this right now. Stay away from that release. It they they nerfed it badly this year. Like it's actually unusable. It's terrible. So for anyone that's thinking, okay, I'm just gonna get Aaron Rodgers day one, of course, stay away. And man, like I said, I got five names in particular of quarterbacks that I think you can legit use day one. So let's go ahead and get right into this. At number five, I'm gonna put Pat Mahomes. So when I did play the beta, I used a number of quarterbacks releases. Pat Mahomes being one of them. I've also lost a, watched a ton of gameplay this weekend because somebody's literally been streaming Madden 24 the entire weekend. So I've watched a lot of gameplay. I've got to see Mahomes throw a little bit. Um, and his, I would say this, his, compared to other quarterbacks' releases this year, you know, his is actually definitely not the worst. But, you know, it's, it's not bad. You're going to get a lot of throw power with this card, a decent release. Uh, and when you're looking at stats for these QBs cards, really the only things you want to kind of look at to start the year or really in general almost, is how fast is he, how much throw power does he have, and it's throw under pressure only, I would say only throw under pressure only because we don't have fearless, so those are kind of the three stats. He's got 86 throw power, 86 throw under pressure, 74 speed, definitely not the craziest, but uh, he's got a decent release, so you know what I mean, I'll put him on there. Quarterback number four, we got the rookie premier CJ Stroud. Now, we do not know uh, the rookie premier, any of the rookie premier stats yet. The only thing we know is these guys are 84s. We don't even know if they're going to get abilities. I would assume they would get a little something, nothing crazy, but at least something. And I put CJ Stroud honestly on here. I know I just said Slinger 1 is a terrible release. One, we don't know if he's even going to get Slinger 1 in 24. So it's a, little, a lot of him is just assuming right now. We don't know if he's going to get Slinger 1. We don't know if he's going to get abilities. We know his overall. We don't know his stats. But I can tell you this, he'll be a free card, so that's not bad. And that's kind of why he's on it. Number three on this list, we got Josh Allen. Josh Allen has the most throw power to start the game. He's the cover athlete. He's got a decent amount of speed, right? Release-wise, for Josh, I said, it sucks with Josh Allen, right? Because he's not, him and Mahomes, like I said, all the core leads, they're not going to get any abilities, which just really sucks. I don't know why they're doing this like that. Because he's one of the highest overalls in the game. Because he's a core elite, he's not going to get any abilities. It's pretty weird. And it's also interesting. They actually they actually made uh, Allen an improviser. Usually he's strong arm. He's improviser on his card. I had to put him in three. Release-wise, I ain't going to lie. Josh Allen's release was definitely a little funky. Like, Mahomes' release might have been a little bit better. I don't know. His release was interesting. I'll tell you, the release is just... They just felt really weird on the game, man. I mean, overall, stat-wise, he does give you that mobility aspect. And he's got a cannon. And you can actually also... So technically get Josh Allen free. So if you pre-order the deluxe edition, uh, they give you this free 86 overall Josh Allen for free. So technically this is another free card you would get. So I'm, you know, it's definitely a step over CJ Stroud most likely. Coming in at number two, we actually have Bryce Young. So this card, another card, we don't know his stats. Uh, I also do not know his release. The reason why I put him on here is because one, it's another free quarterback. You get him, you get him at literally level eight in the field pass and you can actually upgrade him. And from what I'm looking at in all the field pass, uh, the upgrades, when you get a, give a guy upgrade, it boosts him to overall. So I would assume maybe he gets to 86 would be really good. And the biggest reason why I put him on here is because he actually gets some type of throwing ability. He gets quick draw. Now I know quick draw isn't anything spectacular or anything like that, but technically he is going to be possibly the first QB in the game to get any kind of throwing ability. I know there's that 87 Kenny Pickett that gets conductor, uh, but the thing with it is we don't really know anything about that Kenny Pickett card. And plus, I'll be honest, conductors for the birds. And Kenny Pickett last year had one of the worst releases in the game, so I'm just kind of excluding him. And plus, we don't know like what day Headliners is going to come out. I would assume it comes out that week, but we don't really know what day. So it's kind of like I'm putting cards in here that we know we're going to be able to possibly get literally off the rip. Number one, we got Lamar Jackson. In my opinion, I think Lamar is the best quarterback used in the game off the rip. Out of any quarterback I used in the beta... I thought, and I used a pretty decent amount. I used five or six different quarterbacks, different releases too. I try to use different releases. I don't know what release Lamar has. I don't know if he even has Slinger 3. I think he actually has a different release. Uh, but whatever it is, it felt the best out of any ones I used. 
And like I said, watching gameplay this weekend of this game, I've watched a lot of it lead the gameplay pretty much, but I've got to see Lamar throw it. And I think he has the best release in my opinion. He's also got 84 speed. If you don't know man 24, you will be able to roll out with your quarterback. Get, you know, just make plays with him again. He's also got 81 throw power, which is really not bad at all. And an 82 throw under pressure. And if you're looking at that 77 deep accuracy and the 79 medium, Come on, man. You you know all that. Don't worry about stats. That stuff don't mean nothing. I would say Lamar is literally the best quarterback to use day one. And he's 84 overall, so he really shouldn't be too many coins. I mean, he's 84. I guess the highest overall is 87. So, I mean, you know, he's only three overalls lower than that. This is a good card. But with all the guys that I put on this list, I think they're all solid choices. I think Lamar is going to be really good. You know, Bryce Young gets some type of throwing ability. Josh Allen's got a cannon. Uh, CJ Stroud is free, even though Josh Allen's also kind of free, but you would have had to get the deluxe edition. Well, I guess CJ Stroud is also in a situation because, like, you would have had to do this rookie premiere for 23, but so kind of same situation. But and then Pat Mahomes is just, uh, I don't know, he's just another option. So those are my five guys. Let me know if you think there's somebody else that should have been on this list. I think it's a pretty good list, to be honest with you. Kenny Pickett, I didn't put on here because a little, little too many question marks. How, when can we actually even get him? He only gets the uh, conductor, which, you know, I guess Lamar technically doesn't get anything, but he's an athlete. He's got a godlike release. We don't know. I don't know Kenny Pickett's release. Question marks. I'm not doing too many question marks. Question is, who am I using day one? I'm going to attempt to use Jayla Hurst day one. You know, I'm an Eagles fan. I'm building the Eagles theme team. I'm going to attempt to, but... You know, if like he's really bad and I just can't, then I'll be honest, when we load up for the MCS, I'm probably going to have to bust out that boy Lamar or maybe even Bryce Young. Not sure. We're going to see. Whoever I like more. And if you did enjoy this video, drop a like for your boy. We're getting Mad24 content out every single day. We're going to be streaming on Twitch every single day. I know you just heard me talk about the MCS. I am going to be competing. I'm a semi-pro Madden player. So if you want to see high-level gameplay on Twitch, definitely go ahead and drop a follow to your boy. I'm a very off meta Madden player. I run an ace offset, ace slot offense out of the pass balance playbook. By the way, for anyone wondering, I, this hasn't really been talked about a whole lot, but alternate playbooks are in mutt like off the rip they're in the game uh there was a screenshot if i find it i'll go ahead and put it on screen uh it's literally a screenshot uh in uh i think it was in sets alternate playbooks are going to be in the game day one which is a big thing for me because my offense is alternate playbook and hey man we really only have literally one more day till madden tomorrow at 8 p.m eastern if you're on the west coast it's gonna be five o'clock i cannot wait we're gonna be streaming all day tomorrow so if you want to just kick it and vibe with us go ahead and drop a follow to the twitch man but uh, i'll see y'all boys tomorrow man